Yes, even sweaty palms can contribute to insights. Watch this video for more implicit techniques that'll help you with your next market research project. Hi, I'm Laura from Murphy Research, and today I'm gonna to talk about some neuro techniques for market research. Probably due to our desire to understand consumers and people in general, many market researchers have roots in psychology. Many techniques that were once limited to psychology labs are now being utilized to understand the consumer experience. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some techniques that Murphy Research has used to answer some of our clients' challenging business objectives. First, I'm gonna talk about the head. Perhaps the most daunting of the implicit methodologies are the neuro techniques. FMRI, EEG, ERP, SST are just some of the acronyms that describe brain activity metrics that can be used to understand your consumer. Next is the eyes. While eye tracking has been around for quite some time, advances in technology have allowed us to better apply this methodology to market research. Eye tracking can tell us exactly what someone is looking at and for how long. This information can help us understand how consumers interact with displays, products, and packaging in aisle, and we can pinpoint exactly what a consumer is drawn to and what they gloss over. Next is the heart. With fitness tracker popularity at an all-time high, it is probably no surprise that heart rate data can be applied to a variety of industries, including market research. While typically heart rate data is paired with another metric to contextualize things, heart rate can tell us information about arousal and focus. Next is the hands. Sweat can help you understand your consumers. Yes, you heard that right. Sweaty palms can give you insights. GSR is a skin response metric that can help us understand things such as emotional arousal and engagement, information that is useful for things such as ad testing. And finally, implicit associations. Implicit associations are a more accessible methodology that can be worked into your online surveys. Implicit association tests tell us about underlying beliefs and attitudes someone may have towards a brand, a category, or a product. At Murphy Research, we're constantly looking for the best methodologies to answer our clients' business objectives. Comment below and let us know what are some non-traditional ways that you've answered some challenging research questions.